This video is about the Smooth by Waste tool. This tool is used to smooth the mesh by tweaking the weight maps. Ok, I will show you now in detail how this looks in practice. So, this is our working dress model in its default shape. Now step down to the appearance sliders and move the belly appearance slider up to 100. While we increase the slider to its maximum value, the values of the weight maps take more and more influence on the mesh, until the mesh looks rough and distorted. Now let's step up to the fitting panel and select the belly weight slider. And this is the moment where the smooth by weights tool comes into play. You find the tool at the bottom of the fitting sliders panel. Let's click on the smooth weights button. You see, the sharp spike, the one that we saw on the stomach, now has become less spiky. Let's click again. By now the shape gets even more rounded. Let's additionally shift select the chest and the pelvis. Then click the tool again two or three times. You see after each click the mesh appears more rounded as before. But note, we do not modify the mesh itself. The tool only operates on the weight maps. You can see this best, when you move the belly appearance slider back to the neutral shape. And when the belly appearance slider is set back to zero, then you see the dress still looks as perfect as it was originally designed. Ok. So let's move the appearance slider back to 100, and then take a more detailed look at those parts of the mesh which still look wrong. For example the lower front looks like it is sunken in. The reason why the weight smooth tool does not fix this area is a bit hidden. Actually these vertices are not affected because they are not weighted to the belly appearance slider. Hence there are no weights available for modification. So let's take a closer look at the pelvis weight map. Well, obviously we already found the reason for the misbehavior, it looks like the pelvis bone needs a bit of extra weighting here. Ok, so let's step into edit mode, and then select the three vertices at the front. Let's also open the properties sidebar, and locate the weight editor. Now increase the weight for the pelvis bone. And distribute the weight to all selected vertices. And finally apply the smooth weight tool again a few times. So we see how the weights become smoother with each click and the bump that we have seen initially gets filled more and more, until it finally disappears. Now we can move over the mesh and fix other similar issues manually, by first adding some weight, and then apply the smooth tool. Please note that the tool now only applies to the currently selected vertices. This tool of course needs a bit of experience. But after some practicing you will find that it is a very simple to use operator. Let's take a look on the whole mesh again. You see that the dress still is not perfectly fitted to the Avastar meshes. Indeed we can still see some poke through of the second life avatar. But please be patient. We will take care of this particular issue in the next video. Actually I first want to disable the avatar meshes for a moment, so that I can show you some more examples of how the tool operates. Reset the belly slider and set the slider for body fat to 100. Ok, let me step through a small weighting session, and show you how the tool can be used to fix single vertices, edges, and even areas of your mesh. And note. Whenever we use the weight smoothing tool here, this does not modify the mesh itself, only the values of the weight maps get changed, thus this operator keeps the mesh fully intact at all times. Have a nice day, and see you in the next video.